so now we shall be discussing regarding the anastomosis around the knee joint okay so we shall discuss about anastomosis around the knee joint so regarding this anastomosis around the knee joint so what are the important anastomosis we have got we'll look into that okay so first important thing you need to know that this is the femur okay here you have got the femur next important thing is here you have got your so let me draw the tibia a little bit apart this is your tibia okay and here you have got your fibula like this this is your fibula okay so we have got tibia as well as we have got fibula so intentionally we have made this gap to discuss the arteries over here now very important thing you need to know that you know that we have got artery for example we have got this vessel like this we have got this vessel like this this is called as abdominal aorta right and you also know that this abdominal aorta divides into two branches these are called as two common iliacs now the two common iliacs divide into one is called as a right right iliac another one is called as a left iliac right and this right iliac it crosses the right iliac artery it crosses the inguinal ligament like this and enters inside to form the femoral artery see this is your femoral artery okay so this is your femoral artery okay now through this femoral artery you see a short branch that is coming down like this from the femoral artery you see an artery that is coming down this artery is called as a deep femoral artery so this artery over here is your femoral artery right and let me put it as a a here stands for deep femoral artery a here stands for deep femoral artery so this deep femoral artery has got two important branches what are those two important branches look here one branch that is going like this this is called as lateral circumflex femoral artery these things we discussed already and another branch that is going medially you call it as a medial circumflex femoral artery so we have got one is called as a lateral circumflex and medial circumflex and this is the femoral artery that is coming down okay now uh, let me write it as b right so b here stands for lateral circumflex femoral artery and c is uh, c i haven't written but let it be the other one is uh, lateral circumflex femoral artery and the other one is medial circumflex femoral artery now this b which is lateral circumflex femoral artery arising from the deep uh, deep femoral artery this one divides into three branches one branch goes on to the top this is called ascending branch one branch goes transversely like this this is called as a transverse branch or horizontal branch and one branch comes down all the way like this this is called as a descending branch okay so what is this branch over here this branch over here is called as your descending branch of lateral circumflex femoral artery descending branch of lateral circumflex femoral artery okay now just keep this thing aside here next important thing is that from the femoral artery you from the femoral artery itself you have got two branches that are coming so this is one branch that is coming right and this is an other branch that is coming so let us name it as e and f okay just let, let us name it as e and f now what is e here e here stands for it is coming down so you have to call it as descending descending genicular artery descending genicular artery okay and next when it comes to f what do you should call f as now what is this f f is nothing but called as saphenous artery f is nothing but called as saphenous artery so saphenous artery and descending genicular artery are the branches of the femoral artery okay so here three arteries are waiting for us what are those three arteries one is called as a descending branch of what lateral circumflex femoral artery which is coming from deep femoral artery next e and f e is your descending genicular 
and S is your saphenous artery. Now, after this, if you closely look here, guys, somewhere here you have got some small opening, and this is called as adductor hiatus. So, what will happen is that this artery, femoral artery, will enter into this adductor hiatus. Once after entering into this adductor hiatus, now just look at the posterior side here. This is a posterior side and this is a fibula over here. Okay. So this is a femur, this is a tibia, has this is a fibula. Okay. Now just look here. This artery which is going onto the back through an opening, you see, femoral artery. So this femoral artery is entering into the adductor hiatus. So where is this adductor hiatus on the back? So adductor hiatus will be here. Now this artery, femoral artery, is coming out onto the posterior side. Okay, this is on the back. This is this picture is on the front and this is on the back. Okay, this is anterior, this is posterior. Now, once it comes onto the posterior side, what will happen? Now, this artery is entering into the popliteal fossa. So, where is I, I hope you have watched my video on popliteal fossa. So, in popliteal, where you will know, repeat. So, I hope you have watched my video on popliteal fossa. So, in popliteal fossa, you know where this popliteal artery is present, right? So, this is your popliteal artery. And this popliteal artery will come again like this, right? This popliteal artery, now it will divide into two arteries, okay? See, one artery which is coming back, this is called as posterior tibial artery. And an other artery, see, between the tibia and fibula, you have got a membrane. This is called as interosseous membrane like this. So now what will happen is that this artery will pierce this interosseous membrane. It will pierce this interosseous membrane and what is this artery that is piercing the interosseous membrane? Anterior tibial artery, right? And what is this artery by the way? This artery, okay, from here till here, this is your popliteal artery, popliteal artery and this is your femoral artery, okay? And this popliteal artery is giving a branch and this is called as your posterior tibial artery posterior tibial artery and this branch which is coming onto the anterior side is called anterior tibial artery anterior tibial artery see this is a branch that is coming onto the anterior side so by the way you have got an interosseous membrane here interosseous membrane and this is a thing over here with interosseous membrane all the way and this artery which is coming down like this this is your anterior tibial artery so this one is your anterior tibial artery okay now if you look onto the posterior side i hope till here you are clear guys so let us, let us just revise this very easy nothing so abdominal area is divided into two common iliacs okay so one is called as the uh, right common ilia two common iliacs and after these two common iliacs these common iliacs in turn divided into external iliac as well as internal iliac okay this external iliac will cross the inguinal ligament and form the femoral artery now this femoral artery is giving that pink color branch which you can see this is called as a deep femoral artery now this deep femoral artery has got two branches which is going laterally is called lateral circumflex going medial is called as medial circumflex femoral artery this lateral circumflex femoral artery gives three branches one going on to the top one going vertically and one going onto the bottom. So one is called as a descending branch, ascending branch as well as a transverse branch. Okay. Next, this femoral artery gives two branches E and F. E stands for descending genicular artery and F stands for saphenous artery. Right. After that, this femoral artery enters through the erector hiatus. From there, it will go onto the back. Here they go. It will go onto the back. Then it will enter into the popliteal fossa to become a popliteal artery. This popliteal artery will divide into two. One is called as posterior tibial, one is called as anterior tibial. Anterior tibial kya hoga? Fir se again this anterior tibial artery will come onto the front like this. Okay. So anterior tibial artery is again on the front. Now important thing you need to know here is that this posterior tibial artery, right? This posterior tibial artery, it will give a branch. So let me draw it with the yeah, red itself. This posterior tibial artery will give a branch like this. You see, this branch is making a circle around the neck of the fibula, not tibia, fibula. So, this is called as circumflex fibular artery. 
okay if you even look from the anterior side here you can find this artery like this so this is circumflex fibular artery which is coming from the back you see from the back it is taking a turn and coming on to the anterior side circumflex fibular artery next important thing is that anterior tibial artery to samne aage it came to the front this anterior tibial artery will give one small branch here right so this branch over here which is given by anterior tibial artery is called as a recurrent branch of anterior tibial artery okay so this branch over here is called as a recurrent branch of anterior tibial artery and this one is called as circumflex fibular artery this is called as circumflex fibular artery clear right now on the posterior side itself very now on the posterior side itself very important thing is that you see one branch taking a turn like this and going on to the front right you see another branch also taking a turn like this and going on to the front in the same way here also you see a branch like this and taking and going on to the front here also you see a branch which is going on to the front so this branch which is on the top this is a superior and it is called as superior medial genicular artery superior medial genicular artery so this is called as superior medial genicular artery medial genicular artery okay and this one should be called as superior lateral genicular artery and down inferior medial genicular artery here it should be called this one should be called as inferior lateral genicular artery so these four arteries guys these four arteries now i'm drawing on the top so what are what are happening from the back these four arteries are coming to the front so it means from the back these four arteries are coming to the front like this you see this is called as uh, superior lateral genicular this is called as superior medial genicular here again let me draw this a little bit up here right so again here also you have got uh, sup inferior lateral genicular and here you have got inferior medial genicular so this is your so yeah the same things need not to write it again so what will happen is that these genicular branches will again divide into two what are those two here you go this is called as ascending branch and this is called as descending branch so here also this will divide into ascending branch like this and this will divide into descending branch okay so the lower one also it will divide into ascending branch and it will divide into descending branch here also it will divide into ascending branch but it will not divide descending kyunki yahan pe niche there is no artery to anastomos so here there are two arteries to anastomos one artery is common fibular artery and the other artery is recurrent branch of anterior tibial artery so that is why there are two branches that are coming here okay ye dekho one and one but on the left side on the medial side here on the medial side do you see any vessel on the down so that is why there is no branch given down rather rather another extra branch is given to f like this okay so you see anastomosis here so this anastomosis is formed by how how is this anastomosis formed this anastomosis is formed by superior lateral genicular artery with the descending branch of lateral circumflex femoral artery right so this is one anastomosis look at the second anastomosis which i am drawing here now this second anastomosis is uh, formed between superior medial genicular artery superior medial genicular artery right with branch e what is e descending genicular artery so this is a second anastomosis look at the third anastomosis over here this third anastomosis is formed by inferior medial genicular artery right formed between inferior medial genicular artery with f that is saphenous artery okay so next important thing you see these two anastomoses also this one and this one over here so what are these two anastomoses here we have got inferior lateral how are you telling lateral and medial simple thing wherever fibula is there that is lateral side 
so inferior lateral genicular artery okay inferior lateral genicular artery with circumflex fibular and a recurrent branch of anterior tibial artery so these are the two anastomoses so these are the anastomoses which are formed around the knee joint okay so these are the complete anast so these are the complete anastomoses which you will see around the knee joint 